Hey guys, so guys, what's up? It's Fat Rope 25. So guys, what is up? And today I have a new thing of Lightsaber Collection. Uh, now one of mine is missing. It is not missing actually. It's in the mountains. Uh, the Roque Mountains and is uh it's at my mountain house, which you probably well well you you you, you know that place by now if you've been watching before. So t this is my uh I've done uh some videos lately. Uh go check out the uh epic blade builders trick. Um look uh there is also the Kylo Ren lightsaber Blade Builders FX Review. I think that's what it's called. Because, you know, I got, just to let you know, I got this one. Let's see. You know, it says Kylo Ren Electronic Lightsaber. That's what I got. And it comes with all this stuff on the back and all the combos and stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. So, we have this here, which is. My lightsaber collection. Let's jump right in. So, guys, first up we have the Kylo Ren Blade Builder lightsaber, my most recent lightsaber. Um, and it has, I tried to disconnect the parts, so it has the uh, the connector there and the mini saber there. Um, very cool lightsaber. I really like the detail on it, but I go mostly over that in my review, so look that up. This is not a review, this is a collection. Um, but next we have the Inquisitor lightsaber. Tell me in the comments if I have done a review on this. I'm not sure, but if not, then I will. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, probably my favorite right now. It's probably three-way tie between Inquisitor, Kylo Ren, and one of the ones coming up. Now, this is the Darth Maul lightsaber. Probably uh, my longest lightsaber overall. Um, and... I'll show you at the end how long these are compared to me. Um, and then, this is part of the three-way tie, this one right here, this Darth Vader one, because look at how long the blade is. See, look, these two are lined up correctly, and look at how much longer the blade is. I can't see the long blades, but if I move this up to the Darth Maul lightsaber, let's see, right to about... There. Look at how much longer the blade is. That's, like, crazy. I like these ones. Uh, next up is the Count Dooku lightsaber, which is probably my cheapest, weakest lightsaber. It's just not made out of good plastic. Um, probably meant to be a costume prop, not a toy. Um, and then last but not least, we have this Anakin lightsaber with a red blade that I have had for maybe... I don't know, six years now. I've had this for a long time since kindergarten. Um, next, we have this Mace Windu light up lightsaber. Sadly, it does not work right now. I need to get new batteries and all. And yeah, that stuff. Next is just another Anakin lightsaber, but blue uh, from the same year. Um, the reason I got this is because I lost this. Lost. It, um, it was in the mountains, and we had gone down, and I had accidentally left it up there, and I didn't know that, and so I got all worried, and so Mom took me back to the store and bought me one of these for $5, and, you know, things were cheap back then, now they're all $10 and doubled in price and whatever, but, uh, yeah, and so that's pretty much about it. There's two other lightsabers I left out of this, um, that was my brother's, uh, um, what is it called, the, uh, what is it, Ugh, I forgot the name is, the Qui-Gon Jinn lightsaber with a blue blade, I think I might have done a lightsaber collection on my, uh, old channel, sorry, we went to this little carnival thing last night, and I got a bunch of stuff, I got this, I got a little snake, let me turn this off, I don't like wasting battery, but I got this, it's a little ring, it's like made out of rubber, it's nice and squishy, um, I got a, sorry, I always get sidetracked, but I got a little snake, a little notebook, um, uh, what else, I got some whirly gigs, which you'll see in a video coming up here soon, we're gonna do the whirly gig competition, it's something I made up, um, and you'll see 
what it is, I'll explain in the video. So yeah, that's about it. Um, tell me which of my lightsabers is your favorite. Sorry, the video ended on me right there. Um, but uh, I will, I will uh, tell me which one of these are my favorite. And I, I mean, are your favorite? And I just want to say on my, oops, drop my thingy. On my Hot Wheels race, I asked people for questions. Ah, uh, turn off. One sec. See the difficulties I'm going through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is it? Okay, whatever. I'll just leave it on for now. But um, um, I asked. Happened again, people. I clicked a button, but I asked for who who should have won the final race, and who should have, uh, who should have, uh, who would you like to see next? I got one comment on the video by Sharpie Waffle saying, uh, the swamp buggy and um, yes, I finally got it. Uh, the swamp buggy and the ultra rage race was especially good for him, so I'm judging that he meant for ultra rage to win in the final race. Oh, and Swamp Buggy to see next time. I don't really know. I'm just, you know, me. I'm always trying to read between the lines. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you like it. And see you later. Toodles!